Have you ever wondered how drones zoom through the sky? Let's journey on this exciting quest together to learn how these cool machines defy gravity. First things first. A drone lifts off by increasing the rotation speed of its propellers. This creates an upward force called lift, which helps the drone to defy gravity and soar up into the sky. As a pilot, the action of takeoff and increasing the drone's elevations as performed by using the left thumb and pushing up. Remember the speed of the drone as sensitive to how far up you push the control. Also always remember rule number two. Allow at least five feet of clearance for takeoff from the ground up to the elevations you would like to fly the drone. In order for a drone to land safely back on the ground, it reduces the rotation speed of its propellers, which decrease the lift and gently guides it back to the earth. It seems like magic, but it's all science, isn't it? For the pilot, the action of landing and decreasing the drone's elevation as performed by using the left thumb and pushing down continuing to note the speed of the drone as sensitive to how far up you push the control. Have you ever seen a drone move sideways, left or right? That's called yo. It is achieved by increasing the speed of two propellers on one side and decreasing the speed of two on the other. For instance, if a pilot wanted to your right, they would perform the action right thumb to the right. This would cause the propellers on the left to speed up while the propellers on the right slow down. Please remember all movements are based on which direction the camera is facing. So your right may not necessarily be the drone's right. Let's have a group chat. Which direction is the camera facing? So when you're going left, which direction will the drone move? And what about making it go forward or backward? The drone increases or decreases the rotation speed of the front or rear propellers. So if it wants to move forward, it increases the speed of the rear propellers and decreases the front ones. As an example, if a pilot wanted to move forward, they would perform the action right thumb up. This would cause the propellers on the back to speed up while the propellers on the front slow down. Please remember all movements are based on which direction the camera is facing. So your forward may not necessarily be the drone's forward. So I ask again, which direction will the drone move? To go backward, the drone does the complete opposite. It increases the speed of its front propellers and decreases the speed of its rear ones. The speed of the drone is based upon how far you push the controller back or forward. Manage a safe speed for the environment you're flying in. Upon executing rule number three, you should be able to fly the drone with little danger of crashing. Flying above the highest object in your flight area is a great way to fly safely. Now for turning the drone to the left or right, the drone alters the speed of the left and right propellers. To go left, it increases the speed of the right propellers and to turn right it does the exact opposite. The controller movements for turn left and right are performed by the left thumb. Now it's time for flight time. As you repeat the basic movements you have been doing for the last few days, remember this lesson on some of the key aspects of drone aerodynamics. This is great intelligent engineering and physics at play. Stay curious, 